friends in Christ we are on the 19th sunday of the liturgical year what gives meaning to many things that we do in our lives is it god or something passing i'm sure when we look within and around there are many things that make us turn negative and lose heart it is faith in the absolute i believe that makes us still move on god and he alone can define the meaning to my life and my destiny when i place my faith in him there is an explanation to my existence my morality meaning to all that is around me and finally to my destiny away from him the world would be very relative and shaky the first reading of the sunday is from the book of wisdom we know that the wisdom books of the scripture were one of the last books to be written among the old testaments it was written with a definite purpose written to the jews who lived scattered in the roman empire it was written in greek and not in the jewish mother tongue hence the jews did not consider it as part of the scripture many sections of the christian sects too do not include these wisdom literature in their versions the context of the writing was that many jews were influenced by the pagan practices while living among them the writings were to call them back to their true faith by reminding them of yahweh's personal intervention in the history all true in our lives too there are moments when we miss the lord who walk by us and go astray on paths that are made our own in moments such as this we too need to hear him call us back a look back to our old days of faithfulness and closeness to the lord can restore us back to his love being in his love alone can really fill us no matter where and how far we have been we can always return we need the awareness like the prodigal son and the decision to get up and walk back home again and his loving mercy awaits to welcome us back the second reading from the letter to the hebrews is a treatise on faith here is a classical definition of faith it is a realization of what we hope for and the proof of things not visible this defines in a sentence all that is implied by this great divine gift called faith the reading goes on to define faith as found and practiced in the lives of their ancestors starting from abraham sara down to the sojourn to the promised land faith i am sure is an important dimension that makes many things meaningful to us it is a surety in the midst of many human uncertainties faith is certain because it is defined from god's side and not from ours hence let's look at what it is to live by faith faith is a journey from self to god the focus is put on god and not on me faith is a surrender to god's will and plan it is his will that i realize when faith is rich in me faith is a sacrifice that is a sacrifice like abraham that i need to do often that which is very dear to me faith is rewarding to all of this is his reward because having him is more than having all else and above all faith is not learned from books or talks as it is god's gift we grow in it only when we are on our knees let that be our prayer today like the centurion lord i do believe help my unbelief the gospel of the day is a collection of sayings that are in a way eschatological in style 
St. Luke puts together under a single chapter the call of the Master to be ready at His coming. The way to do is to live this life's journey in faith and love. Faith is that which should direct us to God in everything that we do and this faith is to be expressed in love to our brethren. And let our prayer be, Lord, we come to you with hearts that are heavy. With our wavering faith, we stand before you. Open our hearts to love you more, our minds to know you more, and our lives to live for you alone. In Greece, our little faith, lead our faith to express it in love of our brethren. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.